Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be decorating for fall, finally. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be real with you. It's a Saturday. I am already tired. It is only three o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm just now getting started filming this video because on Saturdays we have football in the mornings and the boys won their game. Good boys. And uh, yeah, I'm tired. The sun takes it out of you and it is so hot here in Florida. So <laughs> it took me a second to get myself cooled down. I did have to go grocery shopping today, so I did grab the groceries. I put those away and yeah, now I am excited to go ahead and decorate for fall. The house has been completely undecorated, well, for the most part, and then I'm going to go ahead and add in all of my pops of fall. So let me go around and take you through everything that I want to get done today. All right, so we're probably going to start here in the kitchen and just get everything tidied up. I've got some groceries left out on the counter that still need to be put away. I've got dishes in the sink that definitely need to be put away and put in the dishwasher and, yep, a dishwasher that needs to be unloaded. So... We're gonna get that done, put the stuff in the closet, this too, take care of this stuff. That is some fall decor that I'm probably just gonna leave on the table because that's where I'm gonna unload everything. In this room, we've got some fall decor that I need to get in there, some towels and a blanket to fold. Half of my shoes are out here for whatever reason. This is my football mama bag table that needs to be cleaned off, don't mind that. <laughs> Um, this fish tank needs to be cleared off of all of the extra candles, this box, that water bottle, the fish food. Over here, I had to restain this because it got water marks on it, so I'm gonna go put that back in the kitchen. And then the last room that we're going to hit is the bathroom. So we're not doing too bad in here. It just needs to be kind of tidied up a little bit. So as I said, we've got some cleaning up to do before we go ahead and get to decorating. So I'm going to tackle all of these chores room by room first, and then I'm going to start breaking out some of my fall decor. So come along with me, get motivated, and let's tackle these chores together.
can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're young. So one of my favorite things during fall and Christmas time are all of the different scents that we bring out. So my favorite Mrs. Meyer scent during the fall is definitely the acorn, not acorn spice, that's one of my other ones. Um, <laughs> apple cider is my absolute favorite. I do like acorn spice too, but apple cider is definitely my favorite. And it just gives me all the warm, cozy vibes. And I actually enjoy doing the dishes whenever I have my apple cider dish soap and kitchen countertop spray and all of the above so I really do enjoy using these products during the fall time and being able to make my whole kitchen and really my whole house smell so cozy and warm I was looking like a fool when I met ya all covered up in the dirt from my past so insecure about myself when I met ya kitchen's clean everything's all nice and loaded up into the dishwasher and i'm running low on energy so i'm gonna make a nice coffee with my favorite creamer for fall and i am going to start breaking out all of these pieces of decor after i get this next room all tidied up and then once everything's all nice and decorated i will go ahead and sweep and mold the floor because t when you decorate you tend to knock a bunch of stuff on the floor so it would just be pointless to sweep first and mop first so I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up, no, coffee first. I'm gonna go ahead and make a coffee and then I'm gonna tidy up the table, wipe that down and get all of my decor onto the table. And it's probably gonna be a lot. I don't even know if I'm gonna use it all this year though. So I might be getting rid of some stuff.
Let's get into it. I can't imagine anyone having life any better than you, puppy. Are you comfy on the blankies and the clean towels? Huh? Are you liking the comfy blankies and the towels? Oh, sweet baby. All right, now that we're properly caffeinated, I guess I gotta get back to chores. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this table and the floor all nice and tidied up so I can go ahead and bring my bins in here and start unloading those. And actually come to find out, I did have to go back to storage to pick up another bin that I had left that was stuck all the way in the corner. So um, I definitely didn't use all of my decor this year. So we're going to be putting most of it back and I did not decide to get rid of any of it just yet because we are gonna be moving in the next year or so. And I don't want to get rid of anything to have to just rebuy it again because we don't know where we're moving yet. So <laughs> anyways, um, so I did just restore everything back in the bins. And once I got everything out on the table, it's pretty overwhelming. So <laughs> stay tuned because it's quite shocking. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life. So you stole my life with clarity. So hold me back, now you're here. Cause I'm mad, show no fear. Wanna let you know. Okay, I'm willing to admit that I might have a problem, but this is all my fall decor. Yes, there is still stuff. There is stuff on the floor as well and on the chairs, but I don't intend to use all of this this year and anything that I don't use, I will most likely get rid of because this is a lot. So, um, I'm a little overwhelmed, <laughs> but I kind of have a good idea of what I want to do with all of this. So bear with me and it most definitely might change. So let's, let's get into this because it is getting later in the day and I really want to get this done today. So.
So this is definitely one of my favorite places to decorate. I got this little pumpkin sugar dish from Hobby Lobby this year and I absolutely love it. It definitely spruces up the area some, but I did not really like this candle here as much as I thought that I would. So I did replace it with a wood wick candle that I got from, I can't remember if it was Aldi or TJ Maxx, one of the two, but I get my wood wick candles there because they're actually really inexpensive. And I love the way that a wood wick candle sounds and smells. It just totally different from a regular candle. So I definitely like this little riser on my countertop and it just kind of gives me a cozy little coffee nook for fall. So it's a little bit later on in the evening and we've already had dinner and it's now dark outside. So I'm going to try and push myself to keep going. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on some Harry Potter and fold some towels here if I can get them out from underneath the dog and then start decorating this room. <laughs> It's a remedy, a remedy. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. What is with the curtain? But <laughs> in my defense, it looks a lot better than just this dark chasm of a whole bunch of cords and everything behind the TV that used to be there. So because we had to mount the TV above, it's it's a whole thing. 
just, yeah. <laughs> temporary hopefully but it's a whole thing anyways so moving on to decorating these bookshelves i got these little houses from hobby lobby this year that are pre-lit and they're so cute don't forget to turn them off though because they the batteries will die uh as of right now the batteries are dead because i forgot about them because yeah but anyways um i am also going to be putting the string of lights around this tv again this year um, and it was really simple. All I did was take some black duct tape and just kind of attach them. And I really like the way that it turned out. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. Don't care if I get out of line. You feel that be getting harder, floating on it. We're rebels at least for tonight. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. No, I don't care about the heart. So for the mantle this year, I wanted to use the garland that I had made in my DIY video, which will be going up on Thursday. So I will show you how I did this garland piece and this little wood piece that's right above the garland in the center. And I really like the way that this turns out, especially when all of the lights are off in the living room. It's just so warm and cozy in here. And I like all the little wood accents and pieces on top of the mantle too. It's definitely one of my favorites. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious but I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page
could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Last year, we did not have the deer hanging up. Actually, we got those down from New York at the beginning of the year. They were in Josh's storage when we went back to visit his family back home. So now we have the deer hanging here and the little happy fall y'all sign actually fits better on this wall now. Last year, it looked so tiny, <laughs> but I got this garland from Hobby Lobby and I had these little orange 20 light strands from Dollar Tree from my Halloween decor last year and I thought that they really fit well in this spot. So I like decorating the top of the fish tank like this. And then this little pillar candle in the corner just kind of sets it all together. Then moving over to my candle cabinet, I was kind of struggling with how I wanted to set these pumpkins up here. I really like the natural rustic tones that were coming in. So I did take this large pumpkin away because it was just a little too white. And then I wanted to pop in some candles here and there to give it a nice cozy feel. the bathroom we're actually on another day of cleaning and decorating because it got pretty late the night before so here we are on the following day and I'm going to go ahead and get this bathroom nice and cleaned up and decorated do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in
I want to thank y'all so much for joining me here today on my fall 2021 clean and decorate with me. There were a couple of things that I did not get around to filming just because they were a little bit more tedious and again my space filled up on my memory card and I just couldn't get to it. So the table and the wall um, I did not film but I do have all of those same things uh, in my fall clean and decorate with me from the previous year so I will link that video down below. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me here today and for supporting my channel. If you are enjoying this kind of content and you are looking for more motivational content for working moms, working parents, everyday mom life, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. We have a lot of fall content coming up this next week with my DIY video, a Bath and Body Works candle haul, and a fall plan with me. So stick around and I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all. Won't you be